the video. I get people asking me all the time, what sort of equipment do I use? Yeah. Well, today we're gonna make a little video just showing you all the stuff I use, what I use to edit, and the whole process that goes into it. So, here we go. Right, first off, the main camera that I use to record all my videos is this. No, I'm just joking. This is probably the first camera I ever recorded on. And it's probably what got me started on YouTube, to be fair. That old, it still records in cassettes. So it is definitely an old camera. Well, old for me. The main camera that I use to record my videos is what I'm recording on now. It's a Canon 60D, and the main lens that I use is an 18 to 135mm. I've also got a Rode mic on the top. This is what I use to try and get better audio, but it doesn't always work out the best. But this is what I use to make most of my videos. As it has a flip out screen, it makes it very easy to set up shots and to be able to see if I'm still in focus, if the light is still good, etc. Along with the camera, I have a few different things which I use to try and help get better footage. I've got a Joel B tripod, Casey Neistat style. Another useful item which I use when using the camera you're watching on now is a stabiliser. This is a bit different to the GoPro one. This is handheld, so it works all off weight. I'll show you some footage in a minute, which I recorded quite a while ago. And of course, the most obvious thing is what I'm using right now is the tripod. In the best tripod in the world, but it can go fairly high and it's very adjustable, so it's really good just plonking the camera on and shoving in the background. Another piece of equipment which I use really regularly, and it's in most of my videos, is the DJI Mavic. I bought this nearly a year ago now, and this is really good because it gets you that aerial perspective or that third person shot that you might not normally be able to capture. And it gives a different perspective on the video. It makes you see things from a different angle and usually they look a lot better from the sky. If you want to see the unboxing of this, I'll leave a link down in the description. But this is by far one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Another piece of equipment which I love to use are GoPros. I've got the 4 Black, but I've recently done a video on the GoPro Hero 6 and the Karma Grip. So if you haven't seen that as well, go check that one out, link down in the description again. GoPros are amazing in my opinion. They just help get almost any shot that you can think of. I mean, I've had underwater shots. POV shots. I've even left them outside and done things like time lapse and everything without the worry of my camera getting wet and stuff like that. So GoPros are really good and are definitely recommended. If you want to record something though, the best camera that you could ever have, this is what everyone always says, is your phone. The camera on your phone, if you've got a fairly modern phone, will be more than substantial enough to make a video on. I think mine's two years old now, but it still does 4K 30, which is still better than the camera that I'm recording on now. It's more than likely going to be the best camera that you have. I edit all my videos on Final Cut Pro 10, which is an Apple-only software, and I just find this really easy to use, like, there's not really much of a learning curve, which just makes it really simple. It is more complex than things like iMovie, and it's not as complicated as things like Adobe Premiere Pro, which I have used both of them as well. The majority of the work I do on here can easily be done on a phone, on Windows Movie Maker, on any other type of editing software, so you don't need this to create the best videos. And that's it, that's the end of the video, so I'll leave a load of links down in the description of all the equipment I've spoke about today. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.